I'm Ella Bees, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another dupes video. The last time I did one of these, I got a ton of requests to do a part two. But that's what I am here to do today. The sun is actually blinding me. Last time I did products from across the board, like between eyeshadows and blushes and base products. I wanted to do kind of a similar effect as well in this video, so you're not looking at obtain amount of dupes of the same type of lip liners and the same type of blushes. You want to see a bit of versatility. I have brands in this video like Too Faced, I have NARS, I have MAC, I have Cap on D, just to mention a few. So definitely stay tuned to see what my dupes are. If you guys are new here, then please subscribe. I would love that. I love to meet new followers all the time. It's so exciting. So without further ado, let's get into the dupes. Now again, just a disclaimer before I start, because I always have to do this. Some of these dupes mightn't look to a T identical. Like they might have a tiny bit of a different like finish on them. I don't think there's two products in the world that are identical to each other. These are the closest that I could find. I did my best to try and find them for you guys. So hope you enjoy it. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is my Too Faced Chocolate Bark Palette. This is a semi-sweet palette, so the second one. Straight away, the aroma of chocolate. Oh, I just adore that smell. Oh my god. This eyeshadow palette is so beautiful. Like, just look at those colours. They're so buttery. They're so creamy. They're just everything. Just look at them. They swatch like a dream. They apply like a dream. They blend out like a dream. They are beautiful. But this palette is pricey. It's up around 50 euro. It's well worth it in my opinion. It is stunningly beautiful and I get lots of wear out of this. I don't wear it quite as often as the first one but I still think it is beautiful. And the dupe that I found for this palette is this one here. This is from Makeup Revolution and this is the Salted Caramel Palette. Look at those guys, they are identical. The only thing that is slightly different is just the positioning of the shadows. On the semi-sweet palette, you can see like the blacks over here in the corner, whereas it's here. It's just unbelievable how close these palettes are. The only thing I will say is the Makeup Revolution one does not have an identical pigmentation as the Too Faced one. The Too Faced one is definitely more buttery and creamy, but this one is still very pigmented. I mean, you are given a little bit extra for that intensity, but guys, you can't argue that they are not very, very close to one another. Identical shades, they swatch very similar, and if you were wearing this on your eye and you told people that you were wearing the Too Faced one, nobody would know the difference, and everyone would believe you. Even I couldn't tell the difference. They're so similar. I definitely need to do a look with these, you know, a half and half face again, because I just think that these both of these palettes are sensationally beautiful. One of my favourite, favourite, favourite bronzers, and one that I use quite a lot, is Hoola Bronzer from Benefit. This box bronzer costs about 35 euros, so it's pricey enough. And all it is, is a, is a bronzer. It's a very cool tone bronzer, which makes it great for contouring. It's brilliant at like chiseling out those cheekbones, and giving your face a little bit of dimension. I mean, it is 35 euros though, so maybe you might want to chisel out your dimension with a little bit of a cheaper product. The bronzer that I think is very similar to the benefit one is this one here from NYC. This is the Sunny Bronzer. Guys, you cannot deny that they are very, very, very close. The reason why I say these are dupes is the NYC one has the exact same formulation to a T as the Benefit one. The colour is the smidgest bit off. I mean, the Sunny Bronzer is the tiny bit warmer than the Benefit one, but seriously, when you apply them to the face, you actually don't realise any difference whatsoever. They look identical. That is why I say they are dupes for one another. I honestly highly recommend this NYC Sunny Bronzer if you've never used it before, and especially if you always had your eye on the Benefit Bronzer. Realistically, I think this costs like three or four euros, so you're saving yourself 30 euro and you're getting exactly the same effect so definitely try out the sunny bronzer I am all about my MAC stroke cream I love this even though I'm pretty oily I still adore this on my skin it gives a gorgeous luminosity to the skin that nothing else can do that except for the dupe that I have you can see it there in the back of my hand it has like a pearl finish to it it's just gorgeous. I use it as a base or sometimes you can mix it in with your moisturiser or you can mix this in with your foundation to give a dewy effect. It is beautiful but it's a MAC product so it's going to be a little bit more expensive. Now this little trial size is only 10 euro and there's 30 mils in it. The full size is 33 euro and there's 50 mils in it so always go with the trial size. So the product that I am going to mention for this actually works out a little bit more expensive but if you're buying the full size it would be much cheaper. And the dupe that I have is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique base and I love this. I love both of these equally the same. They are both amazing. This one is slightly more runny and you run out of it a lot quicker than the stroke green. I've 
strobe cream. I've had my strobe cream, the last one, for about a year, but I go through this every three or four months. This costs 13 euro or 12 euro, something thereabouts, and there's 20 mils in it, whereas you're getting 30 mils in this for a tenner. So that's the two of them there side by side. This one here is the L'Oreal one, and this is the strobe cream. So you can see the strobe cream is a lot thicker and a lot more pigmented. Once you rub them both out, they give the same effect. And it depends on the time of the year when I'm using it. The strobe cream is great in the winter time when you might be a little bit drier. And the Lumi Magique one is great for the summertime because it's a bit thinner of a consistency. It's not gonna give like a thick amount of moisture to the skin, but I love both of these and they are dupes for one another, in my opinion. Another Benefit product, this is the Benefit Give Me Brow. I love this little thing. It's so cute, it's 27 euro for that. But still, it's worth every cent. I love this to just put through my brows. You just comb it through the brush is tiny can you even see that it's so small it's great at getting right into the hairs and brushing them through I have the new packaging of this now it comes in a silver packaging but I just wanted to show you the old one because the color that I have in this is very similar to another product that I want to show you it has the same effect on my brows and everything and I, when I use these I just really don't know it's a huge difference between them the product that I have for a dupe for the gimme brow is this one from Essence and it's the make me brow so even similar in name almost and they look identical look at that like you would not really even notice the difference in the packaging they're so similar the little brush on this one is teeny tiny too you can even see the difference in the brushes the top one is the essence one the bottom one is benefit so the brush is a little bit bigger but there's not a huge difference in them and again the benefit one is great for applying through the brows combing out the hairs and I just absolutely adore these I find them so similar in color in texture and formulation everything I think they're amazing and they set my eyebrows down like like nothing else I love them both the one that I use from benefit is medium deep and the one that I use from essence is brownie brows the next product I want to talk about is a very very popular one everybody and their mother has it everybody raves about it everybody adores it and I agree it is an amazing palette it is the Kat Von D shade and light palette it is a beautiful contour palette it has every single contour shadow you would need for light medium and dark skin tone in my opinion this one's perfect for darker skin tones and the one on this end for medium and light and then myself I use the middle shade if you're a freelance makeup artist this would be right up your alley I just think it is beautiful the powders in it are so creamy and buttery and they're just amazing on the skin it just looks fantastic anytime I use it as a contour I just think it is amazing on my face and I love it and I love using it and I just love how convenient it is and how travel friendly it is I love everything about it but unfortunately Kat Von D is really hard to get here in Ireland it's very expensive as well to try and get it shipped over from America so if you want to know how to save some money I hope I can help you the dupe that I want to show you is just for four of these shades just to let you know but but it might still be helpful for those of you and it is the makeup revolution palette I'm just going to demonstrate on how they are so similar you could probably see the shades that I'm talking about straight away it's these four here and those four there I just think they are identical when I use this shadow here or that shadow there on my face I honestly don't notice any difference between either of them the consistency is the same the butteriness of them is the same they blend out the same they're still as pigmented on my skin and I think this is a a highly pigmented palette this shade here is a tad bit lighter than that one there but still quite comparable and this shade here and that shade there they're very very different so that's why I would not include them as dupes but definitely these four and these four here I Identical. They last the same length of time on the skin as well. So you put them on in the morning, they still look fantastic during the evening. Keeping your contour very, very pigmented and in your face, if that's what you're looking for. I highly recommend the Revolution palette. It is only 10 euro, I think, or 11 euro. I will link down where you can get it below. The Kat Von D one, I think, works out about 35 to 40 euro, somewhere there, thereabouts. Huge difference in price, quality exactly the same, and exactly the same effect on the skin. So why splurge when you can save? The next product I want to talk about is one of my all-time favorite lip liners and it's world from Mac I absolutely love this lip liner I've gone through definitely three maybe even four of these lip liners in my life I love it it is like one of the most popular lip liners Kylie Jenner made this super popular and of course everybody got on the bandwagon and was like I need that color in my life it is sensationally beautiful there is nobody I know who couldn't pull off this lip liner it's beautiful it makes my lips look fuller plumper juicier I just love it so much 
but it is 20 something euros or 21 euro and that's expensive. The dupe that I found for it is from Pennies and it costs 150, 1 euro and 50 cent. On that side I've got the Pennies and that side I've got World from Mac. Very, very, very close. They're almost identical. The thing that makes them dupes for me is the fact that they wear the same length of time on the lips. They look similar. The Pennies one isn't drying, it doesn't skip or anything like, similar to the Mac one and the longevity of them. They last really long on the lips so that's exactly why they are dupes for me. I know unfortunately Pennies is not available in every single country but another lip liner I have that is very 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 close just a smidge off it's a little bit pinker is addiction from Rimmel so just in case you can't get the pennings one definitely try the Rimmel one so that's the Rimmel one there so Rimmel and then we've got the Mac one and then I've got the pennies one so you could definitely get away with the Rimmel one and the lips this looks very similar to Whirl and you honestly couldn't tell the difference if you're in some parts of Europe or in America or anything like that and you cannot get the pennies one definitely try the Rimmel one because it is very similar to Max Whirl. Next I want to talk about a blusher this is one of my favourite blushers. It looks really, really scary. This is Nars's Desire. Just look at that. I know it looks scary and intimidating and terrifying, but it is really nice on the cheeks once you know how to control it and just don't go overkill with the blush. It'll look beautiful and really subtle and pretty on the cheek. I love this blusher. I've had it for years and years and years and I always dip into it. Obviously, it's not like my most worn blush, but it's still beautiful on the skin. However, Nars's blushes are very expensive. They're over 35 euro, which is not something that you want to pay if it's only going to be a blush that you wear every now and again. You're going to obviously want to love the blush that you're buying for 35 euro but I will show you an alternative to this if this colour is something that you do like but you want to try a little bit more of an affordable version. So the dupe that I have for Desire is Sleek's, what do you call? Pixie Pink. Now they look slightly different so this one looks a little bit warmer and this is a little bit of a cooler colour but honestly once they're swatched they are identical. The Sleek Blusher is very similar to the NARS one in consistency on the cheeks. However, it is a little bit less pigmented. So you can see them there on my fingers. This one is from NARS and that one's from Sleek and that is the swatches of them. So there we have the Sleek one and that's the NARS one. So you can see, once swatched, they are very, very similar and will look like that on your cheeks. Obviously, that's a very intense swatch. Go a little bit lighter handed than it. You don't want clown cheeks. The next dupe I want to talk about is very sad for me because this product is since been discontinued and it is one of my favourite eyeshadows. It is Max Uninterrupted. I got this last summer and I honestly wear this all the time. It is beautiful but unfortunately for some reason Max, they went crazy and discontinued this. And I know a lot of people were kind of bummed out about it because you can't get it anymore obviously and anybody who has it they're like oh I need to use it sparingly. But I did find an eyeshadow that matches it quite closely. Sorry guys my camera cut out while I was talking. The dupe that I'm actually talking about is Makeup Geek desert sand. So you can see them on my hand. Uninterrupted is at the bottom and desert sand is on top of it. Very similar. Like you honestly couldn't tell a difference in them. They just look slightly different in the pan but on the eyelids very 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 similar and I'm glad that I did find a dupe for this because I'm going to use desert sand on days that I don't really want to dig into uninterrupted and make it last just a bit longer. Next I just want to talk about a lip liner that I absolutely love from MAC and this is called Edge to Edge. It's this gorgeous kind of cool toned pink. It's beautiful on the lips. You can see it there. Creme Cup and this is the lip liner is just insane on the lips. Looks fabulous. But again, 21 euro for a MAC lip liner is just a little bit steep for some of us. Unfortunately, I have found a dupe for it. This is Rimmel's East End Snob and so exaggerate lip liners again. So the twisty up ones. I have the MAC one here and the Rimmel one there. Very similar. On the lips, these perform exactly the same again. The same creaminess. They last really long. That's a really important thing for me is longevity when it comes to lip liners. I don't want to have to keep topping up my lip liner every hour. It's just irritating and I never find that with the MAC ones. They never really wear off that quickly. I'm glad to find that the Rimmel one lasts just as long as well. East End Snob from Rimmel is actually a very, very, very popular lip liner and I didn't realise it was so close to a MAC one which is great. So edge to edge and East End Snob dupes for one another and as you can see them there, they're beautiful colours love these. I want to talk about one of my favourite pigments ever. Whenever I wear this pigment I get a ton of questions on what it is. Even if I wear this in real life people are like what is on your eyelids? Max Tan. Oh I love Max Tan. I actually need to do more up to date tutorials with it. I have a few of them in the past. I'll try and find them and link them below. I love this pigment. It is 
gorgeous but again 25 26 euro somewhere thereabouts very expensive for a pigment it's a very unusual pigment you can see it there in the back of my hand it's gorgeous on the eyes perfect for the summertime perfect for any time of the year I wear this in the winter summer spring I don't care when I wear this because I love it so much it's gorgeous the dupe that I found for max tan is actually from L'Oreal it's when they're they're pressed pigments believe it or not so that's what it looks like there so whereas tan is loose so that's where they differ a little bit but still this is just exactly the same color in my opinion again you can see them on the back of my hand this one over here is tan and this one beside it is from the infallible collection and it's called amber rush if I didn't mention that sorry so you can see that they are very 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 similar even though amber rush is pressed it still performs exactly the same as the MAC tan you've had your eye on tan for a while you love the look of it on the eyes then definitely give amber rush a go if you don't want to splurge on tan pigment because I highly recommend amber rush I have it for years and I still haven't hit pan on it and I use it quite regularly. If I don't really want the messiness of a loose pigment I will use this because it's just a little bit less maintenance. So just moving on to my last dupe and this is for Nars's lip gloss. I cannot say the name of this to save my life but I will write down the name of it here. It is this gorgeous Barbie pink lip gloss. It's beautiful that's it there especially in the spring and summertime it's just gorgeous the dupe that I found for it is from Penny's and these are their liquid lipsticks now this doesn't dry matte or anything like that it remains kind of like a lip gloss and they're very similar in color I don't know what this is actually called it's just their number six shade and you can see them there side by side they are very very similar the only thing I will say about this one is the Penny's one is slightly more pigmented that's the Nara's one and that one's the Penny's one you can see that they are very similar like if you wore these on the lips honestly you couldn't tell the difference between one or the other and that's what I love about certain dupes that they just once they're on your face they just look exactly the same for some reason this is coming up a lot paler on camera than it is in real life it's a stunning bright pink especially for two euro and fifty cent versus what 30 odd euro definitely saving yourself some bucks there that kind of rounds it all up i hope it wasn't too intense i know there's a lot of products and i hope you found something that you would like to try out please let me know if you've any more dupes down below i always love discovering new dupes thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it please let me know if you'd like a part three of this because i'm always on the lookout for more dupes and i'm gonna have a route through my collection to try and get a couple more for you for the next video thank you so much guys for watching i love you guys Mwah. bye